Charles Arismond was a 20th century French mathematician who worked in differential topology and category theory. He was an early member of the Bourbaki group, which was a collective conceived of by French mathematician André Weil, known for his work in number theory and algebraic geometry. The aim of the group was initially to standardize the teaching of mathematical analysis, but it evolved beyond that. Arismond was notable for being one of the creators of differential topology, founding the journal Categorical Topology and Differential Geometry Notebooks in 1957, creating the concept of fiber bundles in differential topology, and being the leader in category theory for the last 20 years of his life. Erismond was born on April 19, 1905, in Strasbourg, France, in the historic region of Alsace. His father was a gardener, and there doesn't seem to be any information about his mother, other than the fact that the family as a whole spoke the Alsacian language. The Alsacian language was a language related to the Germanic language, originating in the Alsace region, and spoken heavily in Strasbourg at the time. Alsace was originally controlled by the French, but came under German rule in 1871. Around 1902, they had an effective self-governing, and after 1911, they had their own constitution, with progress being made toward Germanization in the region. Erismann attended school at Lycée Kleber in Strasbourg, and was taught entirely in German through the end of World War I. After 1919, Alsace was returned to France, and even with resistance, French began replacing German in schools. Thus, Erismann was taught in French from then on. In 1924, Erismann enrolled in the École Normale Supérieure, or ENS for ease. In 1927, he graduated from the university, proceeding to do one year of military service, and taught at a French school in Rabat, Morocco. From 1930 to 1931, Erismann studied at the University of Göttingen, but promptly left once the Nazis began to take over. From 1932 to 1934, he studied at Princeton, which would replace Gernigan as the leading mathematical center of the world. After working on his thesis for two years at Princeton, Erismond completed his PhD thesis at ENS. His thesis was titled, On the Topology of Certain Homogeneous Spaces, in which he described the homology of classical types of homogeneous manifolds, such as Grassmannians, flag manifolds, Stiefel manifolds, and classical groups. This thesis initiated the study of geometric structures and topological spaces locally modded on a homogeneous space of a Lie group, a Lie group being a group whose elements are organized continuously and smoothly. His advisor was Ely Carton, a 19th and 20th century French mathematician who did fundamental work in the theory of Lie groups. After receiving his PhD, Erismond became a researcher with the French National Center for Scientific Research. From 1935 to 1937, he contributed to the seminar of Gaston Julia, a 20th century French mathematician who devised the formula for the Julia set, an important set in complex dynamics. This seminar eventually led to the Bourbaki seminar, a seminar discussing contemporary mathematics that has been ongoing since 1948. In 1939, Erismond became a lecturer at the University of Strasbourg. But shortly after arriving, the German occupation forced a move to clermont ferrand France. In 1945, after World War II ended, everyone returned to the University of Strasbourg. In 1955, Erismond was given the Chair of Topology, which was created for him, at the University of Paris. He worked there until 1969 and was then moved to the Paris Diderot University due to reorganization. Besides the chair he held at the University of Paris, Erismann held chairs in many other places, which included Yale, Princeton, the University of Montreal, and the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay. Erismann married twice, the date of the marriage is being private. He stayed with his second wife, Andre Arismond, until the day he died. Andre Arismond is a currently living mathematician whose specialization has been category theory. 
As a lecturer, Erisman was known to be quite enthusiastic. He always tried to convey his ideas geometrically, believing geometrical insights to be the most informative of explanations. Jean Doudini, a French mathematician notable for his research in algebra and functional analysis, described Erisman as being distinguished by forthrightness, simplicity, and total absence of conceit or careerism. As a teacher, he was outstanding, not so much for the brilliance of his lectures as for the inspiration and tireless guidance he generously gave to his research students. Erisman mentored an astounding 76 PhD students, which included Georges Huchleb, a French mathematician notable for his work in differential topology, topological dynamical systems theory, and non-standard analysis, Valentin Pouinahou, a Romanian-French mathematician notable for his work in low-dimensional topology, and Wu Wenjun, a Chinese mathematician notable for Wu's method of characteristic set, an algorithm for solving multivariate polynomial equations. Geometry played a pivotal role in Arisman's development and ultimate research. He became interested in geometry studying at the Supérieure. A big inspiration was from reading the works of Sophus Lee, a 19th century mathematician notable for being almost the sole creator of continuous symmetry theory, which was then applied to the study of geometry and differential equations. Arisman was also quite influenced by Carton's lectures on Riemannian spaces which exposed him to the directions in which differential geometry could go. As mentioned, Erisman's thesis was devoted to the topology of homogeneous spaces and is still a primary reference in the study of Grassmann manifolds, in which he devised a highly original method using cellular decomposition to analyze features of. He used this aforementioned method more generally when studying Lie locally homogeneous spaces which made up the second part of his thesis. In the early 40s, Erisman developed the notion of fiber bundles, which are spaces that are locally a product space, but globally may have a different topological structure. A notion that built off of the works of Herbert Seifert, a German mathematician notable for his work in topology, and Hassler Whitney, an American mathematician who was one of the founders of singularity theory and did foundational work in topology. Erisman developed his general theory on bundles in a series of notes from 1941 to 1944. And within the notes, amongst many other results, he proved that the universe of relativity is compact, a result that brought forth his first invite to Rio de Janeiro in 1952, as well as introducing the theory of foliation, developed more in depth by Hleb, whose thesis is a reference in this domain. Lee local homogeneous spaces, manifolds of topological, differentiable, and analytical forms, fiber bundles, and foliated bundles. All structures made by gluing together more elementary structures of the same specific type in a well-defined sense. In a quest for simplicity, Erisman wished to join all of these together into one unifying theory. He initially planted the seed with a formal paper on fiber bundles in 1947, and then another in 1952, where he proposed a more general theory of local structures. To emphasize a bit more how important his theory on bundles was, it proved to be fundamental in the foundations of differential geometry. For instance, differentiable bundles are an appropriate setting for the study of infinitesimal connections. This led him to developing a coordinate-free handling of differential geometry with his conception of infinitesimal jets, a jet being an operation that takes a differentiable function f and produces an abstract polynomial of f at each point in its domain. In the late 50s, leveraging this theory, Erisman wrote two important papers that blasted him right into category theory. He defined category of jets, which he described the general computation law on jets and properties previously never given a name, and provided a unifying setting in a categorical framework to improve and generalize his former results. Clearly, Erisman's geometric evolution was quite potent as he strove for unification. Before dipping into category theory, he had defined geometry as the theory of more or less rich structures, in which algebraic and topological structures are generally intertwined. By 1973, 
He defined it as the theory of differentiable categories, their actions, and their prolongations. Throughout his career, Erismond published many papers and a few books, two of the books being Categories and Structures, published in 1965, which was a work on category theory, and Algebra, published in 1969, a work on algebraic geometry. Erismond's collected works appeared in seven volumes between 1980 and 1983, edited by his wife. Four volumes were published by En Premier et Ra Amion, and the rest were published in the journal he founded. Erismond retired in 1975 and continued giving lectures until 1978 at the University of Picardy in Omion, as Andre was a professor of mathematics there. He died in Omion on September 22, 1979. Well, there you have it, a glimpse into the life of a pivotal figure in category theory. I'd like to thank Nipun Dave for requesting this mathematician, as I'd never heard of him before. I'll end this on a quote from an address Erismond gave in 1966. Mathematics is very akin to art. A mathematical theory not only must be rigorous, but it must also satisfy our mind in quest of simplicity, of harmony, of beauty. For the Platonists among the mathematicians, the motivation of their work lies in the search for the true structure in a given situation and in the study of such an abstract structure for itself. Mathematics is a never-finished creation which has not to justify its existence by the importance and the expanding number of its applications. It is the key for the understanding of the whole universe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.